Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm in the San Antonio area off Eisenhower Road near Alamo Heights. We're not in Alamo Heights, but we're pretty close, about two miles away. But we're here because I have a client highly considering purchasing the condo behind me. So, of course, I'm going to do a video. Let's go check it out. Now, this condo does have three different levels to it. It is 23, 27 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half baths. This is Eisenhower Road. Uh, you do have a little bit of traffic on it, but it's not crazy bad. I talked to the listing agent. Uh, H-E-B Central Market is about 10 minutes from here, but Broadway and uh, all the shops and restaurants and coffee things that uh, Alamo Heights is famous for is uh, just two miles down the road. Uh, it is about 11 minute drive from here to Samsey. So uh, not a bad location. This is not Alamo Heights School District, though. This is still Northeast ISD, so you don't get the uh, perk bonuses of Alamo Heights School. But yeah, let's go check this out. Oh, got to point out, this gate here can be locked, and uh, that's nice to have. You want a little more privacy in your little garden space. Perfect spot if you wanted to have a little herb garden going. You do hear a little airplane traffic, but it's not too bad because uh, you are a close drive to the San Antonio International Airport. All right, hold on to your eyes. The decoration is a little different here. Uh, they definitely went with a little New Orleans theme. Uh, the floors are original from 1975. That's when this was built. So oh, let me get this toilet seat closed for you before I show off the bathroom. So you do have a neat little powder room right when you come in. I love, they definitely decorated this with a little, uh, little flare, which is nice. But if it's not your taste, it's not that difficult to change it. And knowing my luck, yeah, there goes a leaf blower in the background. You gotta love it. All right, coming in, you still have this original flooring down here, plus some neat wall decorations. And yes, they like mirrors. But this is one of the things I really like about this particular condo is a very modernly done kitchen. Yes, I'm calling that a word. Uh, you've got really nice, uh, looks like quartz countertop, big single basin sink, little industrial faucet, a fairly new uh, dishwasher, and wine chillers and all these appliances look fairly new. Love the decorations. And yeah, the light fixture here might not be for everybody, but once again, easily changed. Uh, well, this is not pantry. This is your washer and dryer setup. Uh, if my client does go through the house, we are gonna ask what this little hole in here is for, and you do see a little damage in the tile in this spot here, right in front of the washer and dryer section. That might have something to do with it. But you have a little patio access from the kitchen area. Here's more of your pantry area. Remember, this is built in 1975, so it's not gonna be like a lot of the houses I feature on this channel. But one of those things it does have, which I kind of dig. It's got the lazy Susan back there, so you're not a waste of space. I definitely dig that. And some neat little wine things. And unfortunately, I did talk to the listing agent. The wine does not come over the house, but everything is negotiable. All right, coming this, because it's condo, you've got access uh, on both sides. This is the garage in this lower area. It was a, actually a pretty good sized garage. Lots of lighting in here. You do have a little more storage space in that side. And uh, a water softener, which is very nice because San Antonio does have some very hard water. All right. Let's head on up to the main living slash entertainment space. Now, if this tile floor isn't for you, 
That can be changed out easily and uh, put some luxury vinyl planks or something in it. Notice once again, lots of mirrors, but the space, the high vaulted ceilings, you do have a really big fan there. And uh, on this side of the house, one of the perks is the sun is setting this way, that's west. So you're never gonna have direct sunlight coming through here. We've looked at a couple other units in this condo complex. And man, one of them had the sun just melting you coming through all these windows. But yeah, speaking of which, there's a lot of windows here. You have three different sliding doors. Let's go out this one. All right. It's like the blower guy has moved on a little bit. Well, maybe not. But this is the park. Uh, I got a little fire pit looking section there. Uh, and I'm going to show off the tennis courts and the pool at the end of this video. So please don't cut it off right now. Uh, stay tuned till the end of it and I'll show off the pool. But this is a neat little spot to hang out. But there's more neater spots as we go upstairs. So let's head on up and look at some of these bedrooms. And definitely some neat floor designs. All right, coming in here, we got more tile on the floor. Once again, if it's not your taste, easily replaced. But you have neat little shiplap uh, cover up there. This is actually a really good sized bedroom with its own bathroom. Ceiling in here is a little low, but that's what happens when you got a multi-tier condo. And yes, this is that dreaded 70s and 80s brass on here, but don't let that be a deal breaker. It can be updated. But you do have more closet space back here for this bedroom. Let me pick something up real quick here. All right. Sorry, dropped my piece of paper with my notes on it. All right, another bedroom, same size as the last. But it also has its own bathroom. This time I'm a little green. But still some neat little light fixtures in here. Good size closet uh, in this bedroom and its own shower. So yeah, both of these bathrooms have their own bath and shower combos in both these rooms. And the master bedroom, which we're headed to now, after we go up this uh, little dark staircase, like the little painting and stuff on the steps, this can be easily brightened up with maybe a different coat of paint and a little bit better light. But we're coming up to the upstairs area which I like. I like these handrails too. Check out this little space here. And there goes my paper again. All right, we still have that same tile up here, but check out this little entertainment nook. Um, I'm talking to listing agent, they do plan to leave the wine chillers here, but they also got a humidor chiller or hum humidor. But this is all fairly new and it is a wet bar area. But this feature here is exceptionally nice to have because talk about entertaining right there or wine and you come out here and just really enjoy being in this part of Texas. Uh, per the listing agent, what you see back here is Windcrest. Uh, definitely an older neighborhood, but they have their own fireworks and stuff that they shoot off which is quite cool. They said this is a perfect viewing spot to be able to see the fireworks shoot being shot up from Windcrest. If you look really hard off in the distance, you can see Samsey, but this is a cool little balcony hangout spot. The nice view of the park. Uh, speaking of park, parking. Uh, condos can be a little tricky when it comes to parking. You got some parking down there that's public. Some more parking right down here. 
and out in front of the house there's a whole stretch of public parking but yeah this is a really neat little entertainment pad to be hanging out at so you get a little bourbon street sign so oh, they even got a little hose for being a mister because yeah in august it does get hot and having those misters do help All right, coming now is the master bedroom. It's a really good sized room. Check this out. Mirrors, yes, lots of mirrors. But you got two different uh, doors that can open to the outside patios. Love this little flower. My client actually likes this little flower mural right here too. But closet space. You've got a full closet right here another little closet right over on this side good no small winter coat closet no little patio area looks like they put some stuff up so if it is raining you still be hanging out here i was talking about parking a second ago you see all the yellow curb down there you can have your visitors come park up there so they can come right into your front gate as well. But yeah, neat little space to come and hang out here. Little thing for New Orleans again. Or New Orleans, however you say it. All right, let's check out this uh, master bedroom bath. Once again, they got the shiplap on the ceiling, the painted beams, place for your TV, some fancy tile work here, and another closet space. This bathroom, I really do like this bathroom. Love the tile and how they kind of mix matched and changed the transition from the regular bath to the water closet room. And check out, got the bidet, got the fancy bidet toilet. Really nice walk-in shower, just kind of walk straight into it. With some neat little marble work. Very nicely done. And yeah, it is sloped a little bit on the floor, so it's not going to run out everywhere here. And, of course, a little more closet space. But yeah, this is really, really nice. All right, I'm gonna head on downstairs. All right, I came downstairs, back in the garage again, because I want to come out here and show you just how close you are to the amenities, the tennis courts, the pool, and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's head on over here. All right, you do, like I said, plenty of parking out here. Easy to get in and out of this garage, just because you get a little extra space with this unit. Come up the neat little park area. They got some disc golf stuff set up, a little propane gas uh, fire pit set up where you bring your little propane tank in. But we're going to walk over here and check out the pool. I got somebody backing out. All right, coming up to the pool area. And there they are doing some more noise and they're doing some cleaning. But this is a pool. Nice pool. Speaking of cleaning, uh, the HOA covers all of that. And the HOA, well, I'm not going to say it's a cheap HOA. Where we're talking, what are we looking at? I believe it's 600 a month. Uh, 625 622 a month for this unit so yeah not not going to be the least expensive hoa around because a lot of hoas things like vintage oaks you're talking about six seven six eighty for a year this is 622 a month but you don't have to worry about taking care of any lawns they got access to the pool 
And these tennis courts down here. They do have a neat little clubhouse up there on the other side where the guy's doing the pressure washing. And in this building here is a bathroom, a men's and women's bathroom. So yep, here comes the uh, tennis courts. So quite nice, convenient to a lot of stuff, some nice amenities. Uh, but yeah, just being centrally located to everything in San Antonio. And from here, like I said, going to Broadway, you can take Broadway all the way downtown San Antonio. So if you're, that's the life you're about is the city life, but not quite quite in the city, but easy access to everything in Alamo Heights. Uh, this ain't a bad spot. All right, let's head on inside for one last little video. All right, to wrap up this tour, uh, I wanna let you know the price, asking price as of mid-April 2023 is 350,000 for this house or condo. But uh, yeah, I do these videos because I know buying a house is a it's quite a scary proposition. And sometimes you need a little help or thinking about it more than just walking through it. We walked through this house yesterday my client showed enough interest in it that it's like, yeah, it's worth my time to do a video because I want her to be able to look at it over and over again because, yeah, I know how I am. I got a thick skull and sometimes I have to really look at something a couple of times. So that's why I do these videos. And if you're looking for or considering moving to the area, anyone a real estate agent that does videos like this so you can really take your time and think about it, look at it over and over again, feel free to reach out to me at minimum I want you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And of course, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now, bye.